Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to work on our running speed, our actual running form and I'm going to share with you some very simple tips and also share with you some things that you shouldn't be doing when you're running and hopefully if you apply these tips you're going to see some instant increase in your speed. Now through some of the clubs that I've played for I've had the opportunity to work with some sprint coaches so I'm going to recycle the information they shared with me onto you and hopefully you're going to get the same benefits. So let's get straight into the video. Now before we actually get into the mechanics of running, I'm just going to throw this out there, that genetics do certainly play a part in your overall speed. Some people are just born with absolutely incredible speed, but something my sprint coach always told me was that you can't make a cart horse into a race horse, but you can definitely make a cart horse faster. You can always increase your speed whatever level you're naturally at. So if you're naturally very fast, you can still get even faster if you're doing the proper training and using the proper technique. But also if you're not the fastest player in the world, you can still get faster as well. And you can increase your speed very significantly, again, with the right technique and the proper training. So let's get into the first step. So the first tip I'm gonna share with you is actually your arm movement, your arm motion. And not a lot of people know this, but a lot of your running power stems from your arm movements. So for proper arm technique, something you always wanna remember is pocket to socket. So basically you want to get your arms at 90 degrees when you're pumping them and what it means by pocket to socket you're basically going from the side here your pocket you can go just behind and you're going up to your eye socket so you're making this movement with your arm so that's something you've got to bear in mind I see a lot of players doing this, they get very tense and they want to pump those arms really quickly, but they're just losing so much power. You just need to get a big swing and generate lots of power from the arms. So first step is pocket to socket. The second tip is relaxing your shoulders. When I see a lot of people sprinting, they're trying to just go so fast, they tense up their bodies and their shoulders are all compact here. You just need to loosen that body up. If you loosen that body up, you're allowing your muscles to have their full elasticity and they're able to fulfill their full potential. If you're tightening them up, you're only able to use so much of their capacity. You just need to be nice and loose and powerful. The next tip is staying upright when you get into your full sprint. When you're accelerating, yes, you're going to be leaning forward just till you get that momentum, so you get that initial burst. But when you get into your full stride, you want to be upright. You want to have your core nice and tight, and that's going to be taking most of the impact. That's going to allow everything else to move more efficiently. You're not going to be leaning and hunching over, trying to get desperately quicker. You're just going to be nice and upright, and again, using all the other tips, relaxing those shoulders, pumping those arms nice and strong. The next thing is driving your knees. This is something I don't see enough people doing as well. A lot of people think you just need to move your feet really quickly and it's about how many steps you can get on the ground in a short duration of time. It's not about that at all. You actually want to be driving those knees. It's not about quick steps, it's about powerful steps. So you want to be generating as much power as possible. We're not going for quick feet, we're not doing agility ladder stuff, we're not machine gunning our feet, we're actually looking for long strides. So what you want to be doing is driving that knee up. Your knee should be pretty much 90 degrees, parallel with the floor. So as your arms are working, your knees are driving as well. So it should work in rhythm. So as one knee comes up, your opposite arm should be touching the socket, and as you push away, it should be touching the pocket. So it's kind of like this. Another thing is when your foot is touching the ground, you really want to be pushing that ground away. You really want to push it so that you can cover as much distance in each stride as possible. Like I said before, it's not how many strides you can get, it's about how much distance you can cover within each stride. So you see a lot of players when they're tensed up, they're making these little steps. And then you will see someone like Gareth Bale who's got a very smooth technique. It doesn't look like he's moving that fast, but when you see him flying down the field, he's actually covering a lot of distance very quickly and he's absolutely rapid. Because he's using proper technique and he's a very powerful player. And the final tip I have for you, you really want to stay on your toes as much as possible. When you get into that full flight speed, you're really going to be pushing away. You're going to get as much spring as you can possibly can if you're doing this with your foot. So you don't want to be going heel to toe, you really want to be staying on your toes so that each time you're driving and you're just springing off and you're getting even more distance on your stride. So those are all the tips about running mechanics themselves. Now I'm just going to share a couple of tips about training for speed. A lot of people think that 
agility ladders and these small quick feet little things are actually improving your speed. Now, although these kind of drills do have their benefits for footballers, if you're actually looking to increase your speed, these aren't gonna help you. It's not about how many quick touches you can get. Again, like I said before, it's about building power. So the kind of exercises that are gonna help you increase your speed are power, explosiveness, things like this. And I'm gonna keep putting links on the screen They'll keep running along as this video goes along. At any time, you can click on these and I'm gonna share with you some exercises that are actually gonna make you more powerful and increase your speed. Another couple of tips to really take your speed to the next level is having a strong physique. You need to both have a strong core, but also strong legs and strong overall muscles, really, because you're really using all muscles when you're getting into a top speed sprint. So if you want some tips on how to improve your overall strength as well as your core strength, I'm also going to put a link on the screen right now for a full body exercise that targets every muscle in the body. All right, guys, so that's the end of the video. Now, remember, it's not about just looking fast. It's about being fast. So we're not about just trying to move our body quickly. We're really working on that power, that explosiveness, that power in the hip flexors, the quads, the hamstrings, the calves, the core, and the shoulders. So these all combined are gonna make you so much faster if you apply this exact technique. So hopefully you learned something new. If you did, smash that like button for me. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.